there, guys. It's Mr. Cool Two One Zip. Oh, you're probably wondering why I have a different jacket and different hair now. Well, with the movie I'm looking at, it bleached my hair. It's just out of how bad it was, and my coat burst into flames, so I had to get a new one. But hey, this is probably fine for a little while. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't have anyone to review it with. That's it. Ow. No, I'm not gonna look at this. That no. That is it. I'm not gonna review it, and that is that. Hey! Oh! What you doing? The fuck did you come from? The front door. Knew I should have opened that before I started. <laughs> oh well. So what you doing? You want a review? A review? Oh, I love your reviews. Can I help you with one? Sure. Yes. Where are we gonna review? Uh -huh. Go and play with him, find a way with him. Huh, this doesn't look bad. The fuck? Okay, you sure you want to do this? There's no stopping when we get through this, right? Yeah, sure. I believe, I mean, the movie can't be that bad, can it? If you've seen what I've seen, you wouldn't think that. Oh boy, it looks like everybody's here. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool! Ah, the voices! Voices! <laughs> you said no going back, didn't you? <laughs> that was before, this is now! Calm down, we can make it through this! Okay, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not used to this. I'm sorry. You get used to it. Okay. So anyway, after we get through this really, really creepy opening, we get to the opening theme. <laughs> <laughs> well then, here we go. Roll em. <laughs> If Barney the dinosaur comes knocking on your front door, just go and play with That song for the Barney movie? It sounds a little. Uh, pedo ish. It doesn't sound right. Yeah. I wouldn't be very comfortable letting my kids listen to that. Anyway. We get them all discussing Grandpa and Grandma's house when we are introduced to our three main characters. Main girl Abby, best friend Marcella, and the bad boy, Cody. These are our stereotypes, kids. Get used to them. Do you like dinosaurs? What about them? That's Barney. I know it's Barney. The whole world knows it's Barney, and he's a stuffed doll. You're wrong. Barney can walk and talk. And sing and dance. Um... Aren't they a little old to be playing with Barney? I mean, it's intended for three-year-olds, and these kids at least look like they're nine or ten, and Cody looks like he's thirteen. You think they couldn't have gotten younger kids for this movie? Budget cuts. Are we there yet? Your turn. No, not yet, Marcella. Oh, it's taking too long. What's your hurry? They're dumping us for a whole week. Oh, come on, Cody. You're going to have a great time. You can help Grandpa with the farm chores, like, uh, milking the chickens. Anyway, they talk about how they have an Apple Day Festival. Hey, look! Maryvale Apple Day Festival! Parade, circus, hot air balloon, fireworks, wow! Wow. This town must be really out of ideas if they're celebrating Apple Festival Day. More popular than Pomegranate Festival Day. So we see them go to the grandparents' house and get settled in. Then the, when the girls start annoying Cody, he does what any logical kid would do in this situation. Steal the doll. Okay. I'll show you fun. Hey! He's gone. How'd he do that? See ya! Yeah. Free 
missing me? Yes. Now can we have Barney back? Do I know a Barney? Cody, where is he? I don't know, Abigail. Why don't you use your imagination? Okay, I will. Me too. Okay, we all know how it's gonna go, right? Right? I mean, really. They're going to imagine, and it won't work until Cody leaves, and then they go off on a big adventure. see him. Barney's supposed to be the embodiment of imagination. Only people who imagine him can see him. Cody sure as hell didn't. How is he seeing him right now? Wouldn't only Abby and Marcella be able to see him? Quantum physics? No. It's imagination. It doesn't work like that, now does it? I guess not. We then cut to them playing in a barn when Cody comes in and asks some legitimate questions. Hello. Well, hey. oh, 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 oh. What do you think you're doing? Uh, who, me? Yeah, you! What is this, some kind of a joke? Look, pal, real dinosaurs don't talk, and real dinosaurs don't laugh. Because <laughs> there aren't any real dinosaurs anymore. Very good, Cody. Those are the correct reactions you should be having right now. Very humane. Very well done. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm as real as your imagination. Which isn't real at all. Come on, come up with a better excuse than that. <laughs> and that's something that's Yeah, really yeah, yeah, weird. but that doesn't explain. Cody, you don't have to explain. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure with a movie like this, you kind of have to. Yeah, you do. It's a movie, not a TV series. There's at least an explanation in the other ones where it was just their imagination, but here they have like, no explanation whatsoever. Like, you gotta have something, come on! Look, just don't bother. It's a Barney movie. I mean, are you really going to expect them to explain themselves? No. Yeah, me neither. Anyway, the song does start here. Once again, as expected from a Barney movie. Close your eyes and you will find There are pictures in your mind Things that you can see and feel All oh, those things are very real does it matter where you are? Make believe and there you are. You can be most anywhere when your imagination takes you there. <laughs> Imagine you're a cuckoo clock. Not a cuckoo clock. All day long you go tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> A cuckoo clock is what you are! That's right! Imagine you're a bird that flies! Not a bird that flies! Soaring high up through the sky! Ooh, spread your wings and feel so free! <laughs> a bird is what you're bound to be! Imagine! Imagine! And you can be anything you choose! Imagine! Imagine! Now, while I would be used to flipping out right now and sending a horrible no. this song is, this one isn't too bad. So we'll pretty much skip it. No! Who's to say it isn't so? Let's go! We eventually see Cody once again do the logical thing and try to imagine Barney away. Okay, Barney, you're really here because my imagination, and you're about to disappear. Cody! <laughs> I do not believe in you. Oh, okay. Guess the movie's over. 
Thanks a lot for having me over. I was glad to help you with the review. Yeah, no problem. Hey, you want a drink? Oh, yeah, totally. That'd be great. Let's go. <laughs> That's okay, Cody. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> it's, it's still going? What? Oh, I thought we were done. Oh, man. They wouldn't bless us with making the movie that quick. So Barney can just will himself into existence, you can't just imagine him away. Even in the realm of this film's own insanity, this doesn't make this doesn't make any sense. It just you should be able to poof him away, because he is part of your freaking imagination. Barney the dinosaur is not in this barn! I'm telling you, Barney's in your barn. Really? You're really that stupid. You expect two your grandparents, two fully grown people who've lived a good chunk of their lives in the real world to believe that a giant purple dinosaur is in your barn. I had faith in you, kid, but that just flew right out the window. Anyway, we get to see Barney pops up again to sing another song. Uh, Ralph, a little guitar music, please. How is this dog playing a guitar? I mean, first of all, its tail, how would it be able to strum it? It's not even powerful enough to strum. And even if it could, how would it be able to actually be able to play a note with its paws? I mean, even if it could, knew how, like, just the fact that its paws are in, in the same place, it would be making the same note, so you couldn't actually make music out of that. Not even that. He's just sitting there. He's just standing in one place with his tail wagging. It's not even touching the notes. This doesn't make sense. Anyway, we get to see a scene where Barney tries to discuss what Cody thinks is cool. Want some stupid pretend game? No way. Definitely not cool. Ooh. Well, uh, what do you think is cool? Rock singers who spit fire. Professional wrestling. Real stuff. Oh, I see. But... You know, Cody, even for grown-ups, the real adventures in life start with a dream. A dream? <laughs> prove it. Oh, you can only prove it to yourself, Cody. But you could start... Uh, um, ah, you could start by wishing on a star. Uh, a star? <laughs> As if... Stars are only glowing balls of gas a jillion miles from here. Oh, but I think there's a very special wishing star in the sky tonight. And it's right about there. But in all seriousness, this scene is emotional. The one thing I can at least give the movie, Barney and Cody do have at least a little bit of legit chemistry. Yeah, that is true. You feel a little bit for him. We eventually see Cody make a wish about going on an adventure. You're gonna have a real adventure this summer. Do things that no one else has done before. That would be cool. But then we see an egg crash. couldn't have picked better music than that. It's, I know they're trying to be whimsical, but it's really, really creepy. Yeah, there's whimsical, and then there's Michael Jackson whimsical. Too soon, dude. Sorry. Anyway, we go through them singing a pointless song. Yeah, haven't seen those before, have we? <laughs> nope. With some amazing lip syncing. <laughs> when we see Cody find the egg. Some sort of egg. No shit, Abby. It's too big to come from the chickens. Maybe it was a big giant chicken. So anyway, we find out that the egg goes different colors. I'm not sure what the writers were thinking with that. 
And then we cut to a scene of Barney changing a diaper. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That's it! Eventually we find out that the best person to, go to get is a woman named Miss Goldfinch. The bird lady? Ha! Ah, get it? It's funny because it's a pun! <laughs> Puns are so <laughs> fucking funny! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kill me. <sighs> so we go to Mrs. Goldfinch's house to see. Wow, I've seen Obsession, but this? You just went 40 leagues beyond. No, that's. The, no, that's just too far. Come on. But remember, her name is Miss Goldfinch. She has to like birds. Because. It's, it's a. It's a. <gasps> and this is my friend Marcella. Pleased to meet you, Marcella. Ditto, Miss Goldfinch. <laughs> and this is our personal oh, friend. Wait, don't tell me. A purple-plumed Peruvian parrot. <laughs> no. What? Really? You're not going to react to this? You really think so? You expect people to react legitly in this movie? You make a good point. We eventually go to her house with a bird cage elevator. Uh. Moving on? Yep. We see them go into the house and start a song again. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Can you tell us what's inside the egg? Tell us what it is. Mrs. Goldfinch, what's inside the egg? You are such a whiz. Please don't ask me, I can't even guess. Hey, don't drop it, there'll be such a mess. When we found it, we were so impressed. We wonder what's inside it. We can't see you who's inside it. Look around you, tell me what you see. Miles and miles of books. Somewhere there we're sure to find the key. We're no pile of schnooks. It's so gorgeous, really quite a catch. And I wonder when it's gonna hatch. Maybe this time Cody's met his match. I don't think so. And we wonder what's inside it. We can't see you who's inside it. It's so pretty with its colored ring. I just hope it doesn't have a sting. What if it's a horrid reptile thing? Sorry, Barney. That's okay. And we wonder what's inside it. We can't see you who's inside it. Maybe you were song this. Baby chimpanzee. No, I don't think they could come up any lower than this. So it's a dinosaur like me. Even for Barney standards. Maybe it's a fluffy little duck. Anyway, we learned that the egg is some kind of mystical something or other. I don't know how to explain. I'll just I'll let them do it. Every thousand years or so, an egg falls from the skies. Inside the shell, the dream maker prepares its big surprise. A visitor from days gone by, who has a gift to share for boys and girls around the world, for children everywhere. But mark you well the very spot where first the egg is found. For when the colors all have changed, it must hatch on this ground. Hmm. Huh. Barney, what does she mean? Well, the egg will hatch when all five of these rings light up. But it'll only hatch in the very spot where Cody found it. Well, this isn't too hard to do. You just have to go back the way you came with the egg. It's pretty easy. Oh, come on. You're dreaming if you think that... Cody, did you... Alright, so the egg falls and lands in a truck as they have to come up with a plan. Come on, get on the horse and go! But we can't all ride on Agnes. I think I have an idea. Oh, great! Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, okay, Agnes, it's all up to you. Just use your imagination. <laughs> you expect a horse to use his imagination? Oh, a horse? <laughs> Why, of course! <laughs> Objection! Horses do not have souls, and therefore ask me to make an imagination, and let alone in a Roman setting, does not make sense. 
It's a kid's movie. Anyway, we see them chase the truck down to find. That, okay. In, this movie got like 50 notches of awesome for that. Oh man! I mean, despite the fact that it's technically distracted driving and thus increasing his chances of a collision by about six times, I, I think that's pretty cool. Why wouldn't you want that? Just have a friend over. You can have a barbecue and a picnic in your freaking car. Totally. Just go. Just go road on a big road trip. Get your friend to you know grill a couple burgers and get the other guy driving. Man, that would be a heck of a time. Damn right it would. So we see Barney and company chase the egg some more through a parade while Baby Bop goes around asking, "What else could it be? Her blanket." Oh, don't remember that from earlier? Oh, sorry, we forgot to mention a subplot through the entire movie! Where Baby Bop is going around asking for her bl blanket. Interested? Well, too bad. Because we are going to skip over all the elements of this subplot for the main fact that nobody gives a flying fuck! The egg ends up in the parade when it appears some dancers are going to dance over it. A fancy dance right on top trip, of the trip, 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 Score one for the reviewers! No egg! Movie over! Ah. BJ were playing football? <laughs> uh, there was that one time in high school. What? We eventually end up in a French restaurant called... Welcome to Chez Snob. Really? Chez Snob? <laughs> you, you can't come up with a better name because they're French and they're like the snooty French stereotype. You called it Chez Snob. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, fine, fine. Just, how could this movie get any worse? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on behalf of Shea uh. Snob, I'd like to invite you to sing along with one of the all-time great musical uh. masterpieces. Uh. Maestro. Outside with my mouth open wide. So what a rain that would be. All the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes. So what a snowflake would be. Enjoy your thing! With my mouth open wide. If all the snowflakes are candy bars and milkshakes, I'm gonna snow the whole day. Drops, lemon drops, and gum drops. So what a rain that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. If all the rain drops, or lemon drops, and gum drops. So what a rain that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah,
gumdrops and gumdrops. Oh, what a rain that would. Oh, what a rain that would. Oh, what a rain that would. Although I can admit the song's a little catchy. Why the fuck do you have a jazz version of Candy Drops and Raindrops in this? What is the point? There's just no reason to have a j Fine, having the song normally would be okay. It'd still be a bad song, but it'd be, at least, it would make sense. But having a jazz version doesn't. Because I have so many things wrong. One. How, why is nobody questioning he's on stage? You think that if people in a French restaurant would question a giant freaking purple dinosaur in a white suit on stage singing a song? Two, how do the people playing the song know it? It's j it's not like they're playing with traditional instruments. It's a jazz song. This has never been played before, it's never been heard before, yet they know how to play it instantly. Three, why aren't they kicking him out? Do you think they would be kicking him out for disturbing the customers? Four, why are they dancing along with them? These are grown adults, not kids. They're not this stupid. They wouldn't just dance along to a song like this. And five, what, how is it a distraction if they're going around d disturbing them anyway, looking for the egg in their food? Mr. Cool, please calm down. The movie is almost over. We'll be there soon. So we right. see that the egg has somehow ended up at the circus. We see them ask a bunch of people there before it ends up with the juggler. Excuse me. Uh... Whoa. <laughs> you caught me by surprise, my large purple friend. <laughs> I like surprises. Stop, Stop juggling. juggling. For birthdays. And birthdays go with cakes. But, mister... Whoa! What is it, young lady? That's our egg you're juggling. Stop oh, like juggling. It. Cakes are for breakfast, and that means frying pans. Stop oh, juggling! Please, I'm worried about it. Are you peeking? No. no. Then, Doc. Whoa! Dude, you are officially the biggest douche in the movie. I hope you're happy! That's a hard accomplishment. Yeah, it kinda is in a Barney movie. Either way, it, it conveniently starts to rain as we go inside a tent. Oh, cheer up, Abby. We'll find that egg. We're gonna find a way. We're a super de duper team. And when we stick together, there's no storm we can't weather, no matter how dark it may seem. Whoa! We're gonna find a way. We're gonna save the day. We'll solve the situation with our imagination. We're gonna find a way. We'll get through this somehow if we can only just believe. We're gonna find a way. We're a super D duper team. And when we stick together, there's no storm we can weather. No matter how dark it may seem. We're gonna find a way. We're gonna save the day. We'll solve the situation with our I heard about your little problem. Just what is it you're looking for? Well, it's a really big egg, and it... About this big? Well, yeah. yeah. Where is it? I think I saw something like that. Let me see. Uh, you're kind of using them the wrong way. <laughs> Whatever. We find out that the egg is in a hot air balloon, so they gotta find a way to get it back. We're gonna pretend that this is the fastest, coolest airplane in the whole world. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, bro. It's not like this is reality or anything. Yeah. Come on! Faster! We can do this, we can! Oh, 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 I think we need your help. I'd like you to pretend that we can really fly. Let's all do it together. Ready? One... Two, three, no!
Bert's imaginations would actually work. I believe in imagination all over again. I feel like I feel young again. Same this here. is amazing. No, don't do it. Don't. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm in time. In time to stop you from watching this hideous film. I mean, my God. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. I'm a Barney fan and I hate this thing. We're through it already. Yeah. What's what's the what's the worry? It's over. Well then, why is it just starting? <laughs> Probably should have watched my review first, just saying, you know. Uh, yeah, subscribe to Super Godzilla 12, by the way. He's awesome, and uh, yeah. Bye-bye. Uh, so tell me that even though this movie takes place in our own reality, they still have the ability to turn a log into a fully functional airplane. And even if they could do that, I doubt a log that turned into an airplane could support the weight of three kids and a five, like a nine-foot fucking dinosaur. It's a kid's movie? No! Even in the realm of this own film, it does not make any sense. Oh, I lost the argument again. Do win one eventually. I'll do my best. Anyway, they get the egg back and end up crashing back at the farm. Hi, guys. Ooh. What is it? Where'd it come from? Thank you. Now that's a total of three characters who have at least acknowledged that this isn't normal. We have. Cody, the juggler, and now the grandma. Why are there so many idiots in this movie? <laughs> I don't know. Not a very smart town. So anyway, we finally get the egg back to the farm. And we see it start to hatch. Oh. What the fuck is that thing? Everything about it is creepy. The way it sounds, it moves. Ew. Ugh. Either way, we find out what this thing is intended to do. So that's the dream maker's gift. To let you see your own dreams more clearly. But why? Well, because the dreams you see most clearly are most likely to come true. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry about this, but this is horrible. This message, this theme, this doesn't work. I mean, that's not even how life works. You see, in life, the way it works is that you have the dream up here, and in the real world, you work hard to get that dream. The fact that they think that you just sit there and magically hope it's going to happen, that just doesn't work in reality. This is a horrible message for children. How much longer is this movie? Five minutes. Finally! Barney? Yes, Cody? I'd just like to say that I was a big doofus before and I think you're pretty cool. Thank you, Cody. I think you're pretty cool, too. Hey, Barney, now can we see your dream? Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> So, Barney's plan is to burn the house with fireworks. I knew it! I knew he had some kind of agenda! I called him from the beginning! I knew it! I knew it! I'm gonna go call the presses right now! Oh, he's telling us he knows what my dream is. It's a special time, a special place, and sharing it all with the people I love. Oh, he just wants to be with his friends. That's kind of underwhelming. Either way, they sing their usual ending song. We see Barney turn back into a doll, and that's the end! Well, now they're both gone. Well, Barney wouldn't just leave. No. Well, we 
Germany. So, now that we got through Barney's great adventure, what do you think? <sighs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, I actually remember seeing this movie as a kid. I mean, I must have seen it with my family or something. Like we, I get it, like I think we picked it up at a convenience store because we really didn't have much to do that, during that summer. I don't know. But having watched that movie, I guess it was just something that for us it really just came and went, and I really didn't look into this movie. Like this was before I had any sense of criticism at all. I just watched the movie and said, "Hey, I just spent two hours watching the movie." whatever the duration of this movie was. But what's your opinion now? Now? <coughs> I can't believe I wasted the, that amount of time when I could have been spending it playing Nintendo 64. I mean, really. I could have spent my time better than, than watching a Barney movie. We all could have. You're right. Now, my personal opinion of this movie, is it worse than the other ones? Yes and no to an extent. It's worse than Live in New York City because that one was just a stage play and this one's actually trying to be a legit movie. I can give them that much credit. They yeah, they were trying. They, yeah. they, they, they tried. I can admit that they tried. But what they tried doesn't work. Mm -hmm. it, they failed miserably and there's no appeal to it. At least Imagination Island had Professor Tinker Putt. <sighs> this does not. This has no, no value whatsoever, nothing enjoyable about it, except for that fucking truck. I want that truck. But aside from that, nothing enjoyable about it. I would not recommend this to your kids. Yeah. Just, I, I, I recommend staying away. Whether you're a kid or an adult, just no. On a lighter note, imagine having that truck driven by Mr. Tinkerpot. That would be awesome. Oh, that would make my day. All right. Thanks for helping me with the review, man. It's been fun. And, <sighs> wait. Hang on a minute. Oh, my God. I have no more Barney movies to look at! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you did it, man! You made it through all the movies there are in Barney! All the ones I watched, anyways, there's a lot more, but I thought, look at those! Yeah, you've done enough, you've done enough, you know? Okay then. You've done enough. So, okay then. What's next? Like a dragon, can you talk like a dragon? Dance about like a dragon, can you shout like a dragon? Can you swing like a dragon? Spring like a dragon, can you give it absolutely everything?